for this self quiz I'm going to give you 12 problems to try and it's all about factoring in different forms now these first four I want you to try are factoring out the greatest common factor of each expression so it's one factoring and numbers five and six down at the bottom there factor completely so those are um, binomials that are being multiplied all right so give it a try hit pause on this video and then I'll show you the answers and we'll talk about it as we need it all right let's see how you did in this first one as you can see the GCF is 9x so you can take a 9 and an x out of each factor notice how the first term there would be negative 4 all right and when you divide 9x um, by 9x squared it leaves you with a 1x or an x number 2 is 9 greatest common factor there on the outside leaving inside 3n plus 1 number 3 the only common factor is a 2 so you can divide each number by 2 and get 3x plus 4 and finally number 4 in this group is 10 the greatest common factor notice how there is not an a term here on the 90 so you can't also take a 9 or I can't take an a factor out of that now at the bottom we have n plus 6 and n plus 7 notice how 6 times 7 is 42 your third term there you multiply the 6 and the n that'll be 6n you multiply the n times the 7 which would be 7n you're going to add those together to give you your middle term all right so a little bit of a trial and error there or the fact factor box method that I showed in one of my other videos here the only common factor is a b b times b plus 3 all right back to some more for 7 through 10 uh, again on paper I want you to try these first um, these are going to be two binomials multiplied together all right you might have to factor out a GCF for example in number 7 here and watch out for numbers 9 and 10 okay what I've got in there are those two special cases that I talked about in a previous video 11 and 12 are factoring by grouping so hopefully you've seen my video about that all right good luck here we go now the first thing we got to do here is factor out a 4 all right now if you do that and that's why that 4 is on the outside there if you divide each of these by 4 you're going to get 7n squared plus 45n minus 28 okay then you're going to have to factor the rest so here I have 7n times n that'll give you your 7n squared I have a negative 4 times a positive 7 that's the negative 28 and then we have some combination here to get my middle term so negative 4n and 49n okay notice how it's a negative 4 and a positive 49 so that gives you your 45n middle term again um, factor out the 4 first as a GCF here nothing to factor out first of all so it's going to be these two binomials and again look at your middle terms you got a positive 4r and a negative 49r okay that gives you your middle term there of negative 45r a little bit of trial and error necessary on that one all right this is called a difference of two perfect squares okay that's a special pattern we looked at before notice how you take the square root of the first term it's 5b in both places take the square root of the last term that would be a 2 in both places and because the middle term is gone that means we have a plus minus pattern all right typical for factoring out difference of squares this is a perfect square trinomial which means that the first term is a perfect square 3n times 3n and the last term is a perfect square 1 times 1 now it's the key here of course is the middle term is the middle term the right kind of pattern well we get the 6n middle term from 3n and another 3n alright so it does fit the pattern of being a perfect square trinomial and this is its shortcut exponent form factored finally number 11 and 12 
This first group comes from factoring a 5v squared out of those two terms, and that's the expression we get. The second group here can be a uh, common factor is 8. So when I factor those out, notice how I have a common binomial, 6v plus 1. All right, so it's that binomial, 6v plus 1, times the two parts that I have right here. All right, factoring by grouping. It's tricky, but after a while, you'll see a very consistent pattern. Again, I look at these two terms, make sure all the exponents are in order there in declining degrees, and I factor out an x squared out of each of those terms, and that gives me these two right here. Notice how 36x minus 42 can be factored this way. 6 is a common factor. All right, so there's a common binomial there, 6x minus 7 in each. So therefore, we have that as part of my factored group and the x squared plus 6. The x squared comes from there, and the 6 comes from there. All right. I hope you did really, really well, and congratulations. Thanks for taking this self-quiz.